don't know if you can hear that, but that's that's not the sound of nothing. That's the sound of nature. And we're gonna try to do something a little bit different on the video today. We're gonna try to let that shine. I try to always kind of highlight God's creation, but you know, truthfully, it doesn't need my help. And so we're gonna we're gonna try to leave some of the music out and do a very minimalistic video today and just let let nature, let God's creation shine and, and see what we can see what we can do. We're gonna we're gonna still go fly fishing and we're gonna um, hopefully chase after some little native brook trout, the little gems of the southern Appalachians. See if we can show some of them off, but let let nature shine today. Y'all, if you like this version of, of the video, um, just just leave a comment, let me know what you think. Um, we'll try to try to do a, you know, a better job of, of leaving out some of the music or keeping it to a minimum and just let let nature do the talking. So y'all let me know what you think and I hope we'll have a pretty spring day here on the water and uh, we'll we'll get right to it. All right, we're going to start off with, it's a little version of a elk caracatus, but it's tied like a yellow sally. So it's like a yellow sally, kind of yellow underbody, a little red kind of tail with a elk hair top. So kind of a cross between a, a, a caddis and a, and a yellow sally. So I got these actually for the Smoky Mountains here in a couple weeks, but um, I'm going to go ahead and try it today, see how they do. So we'll, uh, we'll see, what, see what it does for us. I don't know if he'll bite again. Oh, oh. I don't know if he's just like too small to take it or what, but that's a good sign that they're at least thinking about it. Oh, <laughs> I think I think I might have might have stung him a little bit, so I bet he won't bite again. I'll give it one more cast, but I bet I bet he's done. That's a good good start though. At least we're seeing some action right here off the bat. Here we go. Finally got us up. Oh, quick release. At least we got him in. I think that was close enough we might get to count him. <laughs> oh man, he came up out of the water after that. Yes. Now that that was a good eat, man. Oh, get you in the net. Man, that was a good eat. That's a bigger fish to see if we can get down to the edge of the water here. All right, let's show him off real quick. We'll get him right back in the water. Beautiful, beautiful fish. It was pretty, pretty spots. Beautiful, beautiful fish.
There we go. There's just another little guy. Get her hands wet. Oh, you're getting tangled up, bud. Show him off real quick. Pretty, pretty fish. We'll take it. That's what we're here for. Oh, let's get you off, bud. Show him off one last time. Pretty, pretty fish. Bye-bye. There we go. <laughs> a hard time. <laughs> Sketchup already sets a lot better fish. Pretty, pretty fish. See what's gonna happen right here. That's pretty. Very, very pretty. It's got this dammed up area. We'll cast, we'll check out the back of this hole. First, I saw one just feeding right there. So we'll check out the back part of this hole, see if we catch anything here. And then we'll go up and catch the top part. Try not to spook, spook these fish. Man, he crushed that. Nice. Not yet. Get you in the net here. That was that was awesome. Oh. There we go. <laughs> finally got in the bite. I could see him out there feeding in front of me, but never could get in the bite. And he finally, I guess, couldn't take it anymore. There we go. There's another one. Nice. Gotta get him rejuvenated here. This little guy's been a ticket since they since they started biting. It's just a little copy of his parachute atoms. The rookies seem to like it. See one still feeding up there. Actually, there may be two. Oh, there's one out there. So we'll see if we can put it over near him. And there's one at the top of the hole still feeding. So let's see if we can kind of drift that by in front of him. Kind of may have messed up and laid my fly line close, too close to him. Oh, there it didn't matter. Thought I might have laid my fly line too close to him. Oh, came off. <laughs> I'm impressed he still bit. I thought I might have laid my fly line right across the top of him, or at least at least close enough to him to spook him, but that was cool. He could see him feeding right over there and laid the fly right in front of him, and he took it. That almost looks like another one. <laughs> that was a different fish, but he came out of nowhere. <laughs> Two right there to get. Let's get our hands wet. Nice. Another little one. So he was not not the same fish that had just popped off. One popped off. There you go. Not the same fish that had popped off right down here, but he came out of nowhere and, and grabbed it. So we'll put him back. There you go. You're feisty. There you go. I was gonna say you're feisty a second ago. There we go. All right. Keep walking our way up. Let's see what they're gonna do. Let me 
stealthy through here. I'm having it walk through pretty open. There he was. I think that's the one feeding up in the front. Nice. Get your hands wet. Whoop. Popping around. There we go. Man, another beautiful, beautiful colored fish. His color is almost the same as the fly. <laughs> out of that log that was was an awesome take there <laughs> beautiful beautiful fish so we get back to his home we'll go there he goes it took off nice There we go. Oh, that was a good fish. That was a really, really good fish. Man. I would like to have that one. I don't know if we'll pull anything else out of there. Get one last. Oh, oh, rolled at it. Man, that, kid, that guy nailed it. Like, rolled after it. Didn't ultimately take it, I guess. I give it, a, I guess, a couple more goes here. That's not a great drift. It's not over where that fish was. Put it a little closer. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Man, I messed up the first oh the first couple times, but got him that time. <laughs> Man, that is that is a very pretty colored fish. Let's get our hands wet. He almost has like a. I, mean, I know it's common for them to have the under belly that color, but man, he almost has like a burnt orange down there. So, so pretty. Man, really, really pretty fish. Let's get him back in the water. my favorite trees a little sapling from a little hemlock you know it's a good time of year when you get to see some new growth on these hemlocks and you know you're in a pretty place because they don't they don't grow everywhere usually just in the mountains or on the beautiful streams so if you're seeing those you're usually in a good place So just uh, kind of getting get back down here where I can talk a little bit, not have to rock hop. Um, I hope I hope you guys found the video uh, enjoyable today. I know it was something a little bit different. Um, let me know what you think. Um, if you like the more relaxing uh, versions, or if you like the more the music and everything, let me know. Um, I thought it'd be just a nice change of pace to do something different. And I think I think there's a place for both both versions. But I thought today would be just good to kind of strip it down keep it simple let nature do the talking and what better place to do it than up here in the mountains catching some beautiful brook trout i cannot think of a better better place to do that and a better thing to share with people so um if you haven't already subscribed you find yourself uh, watching the channel uh, think about subscribing it's one of the ways one of the main ways we can grow and one of the main ways we know people like what we're doing um leave a like definitely comment let me know what you thought about the video and uh, we'll we'll see you soon we're gonna be heading up into the back country of the Smokies here soon so that'll be our next video so you got some backpacking and hiking and and some uh some more fly fishing to look forward to so i can't can't wait to see you guys in the next video we'll catch you then